Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of the Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Forty-seven, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. Forty-seven, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, Forty-seven. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the Barge Al Ghazali. Turned up yet? Sir, we have word that he's arrived. Just waiting for him to turn up. Good. 
Remember to check his papers before you call me. I don't want some snot-nosed newbie. I'll be sure to contact you as soon as he turns up. Papers vetted and all. Good. And please, when I come back, no more excuses. I'm a personal friend of His Royal Highness, Omar el Ghazali. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. gonna make me look hey you I have a problem I'm supposed to meet up for duty but they can't find my uniform that's not my problem come on I need help you look my size if, if you're off duty couldn't I just borrow your uniform it's my first day and I really need this gig good for you congratulations no it's all screwed up they can't find my uniform I'm begging you man to man sorry still on duty oh god this is not my day. Oh, it's Mumbai all over again. Look, this is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Yes, you men in the army with your papers. Super punctual. I get it. Yes. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you, do you know what a man is without his gun? <laughs> man in his boxes. Crying like a baby. Ugh. You women will never understand. <laughs> and I don't think we ever will. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do 
you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. So, how are you finding... Okay. You must be my new escort. I have very high standards, and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Keeping the big man safe, huh? Yeah, nice gig. Well, this all looks very promising. Yes. Good. Oh, you worked for Darwood Rangan. Hope you weren't there on the day of his tragic death. Okay, this all looks very good. Come on, let's walk. To tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24 7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now. Your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it. Correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? No. <coughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt it. You cocky idiot. What to do Thank with all service. that power? Take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Some things you should know about me, and this is very much on a need-to-know basis. I am here incognito. So I want you to stay close, but not too close. Especially when we are out in public. If you see a man with a bodyguard, it draws attention. Understood? Yeah, of course you do. Come on, follow me. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet.
Look, it's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? You can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Sir, get out of my way. Let me just pad you down here. Thank you for your cooperation. Please continue. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. No need to panic. and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Sir, thank you. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration. 
and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Let the pros do their job. Good afternoon. This is quite the ceremony. I was thinking, upstairs, as I understand, it's the Royal Highness's private penthouse. It must be quite the view up there. Do you think you could get me access to there? I mean, it would really make my day. That is beyond my rank to answer. I suggest you call HR. They should be able to answer any questions you have. All right. Thanks for your help. This stinks of something. Mr. Look, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, whatever it is, better be good. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Yes, sir.
What's up? Excuse me, sir. There's a limited access to this area at the moment, so I can't Mr. let you Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Right this way, Mr. Kazim. How are you, sir? Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold. Back in China, this would never be possible because of all the smog. I apologize about the incident earlier downstairs, but you have to understand that we need to keep security tight, no matter who. All our guests go through the same procedure. Mr. Mr. Kassim, so good to see you. You have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Yes. We have Ingram right where we want him. Excuse me for a second. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink. Stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice. In that. The view is quite something. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. We got him, forty seven. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.
Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough.